Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Pendor. Now, I <laughs> I do have to remember to be a little bit careful and quiet here because it is very late, and, well, I got a little bit carried away in my intro there, but yes, as you can see, we have introduced ourselves to a serpent priestess and her snake cult doom riders. Now, these guys have exactly the same amount of units as they do prisoners, 44, and some of those prisoners are maiden cavalry and I'd very much like to rescue those. Now I have of course headed all the way down to Empire territory and we are almost at the treasure map location and so we're gonna see what we can do about retrieving the Corliss gem from the Red Brotherhood hideout. I'm very excited about that actually because it has been a long time coming. I mean, I know many of you have actually been wanting to find the Red Brotherhood hideout yourselves for a very long time as well. Some of you even going above 700 days. I mean, I can't even imagine how frustrating that must be, really, because I was becoming livid just from not being able to find it myself, and I've barely gotten to 200 days. I think I've, I think I'm at about 180? Day 180 or 160 or something like that, so yeah, it's been quite a while, obviously. Usually I would be maybe at around day 80 by this point, but it's Pendor, so you very much need to wait around a lot and you need to travel quite far distances and all kinds of things like that, so yeah, once we have acquired this Qualys gem, I will be Ah, uh, that's actually the thing. Should I get a rune weapon from it, or should I unlock the... No, nah, I can't really unlock the ability. See, that's the thing. If I unlock the ability to recruit Noldor units from Quigfen, for example, he is going to be less efficient than the Noldor in Elecrae, which is, of course, the, you know, Noldor city that is hidden in the woods to the east. You know, that, that place. So if I were to unlock the ability to recruit them there, in Elecrae, I would get substantially more Noldor from that, because apparently many of you have confirmed the, shall we say, assumption that once you unlock the ability to recruit them, you can rescue them as well. And there's actually quite a few parties around that can, you know, be seen to have Noldor units in the Prisoner's Halt. So it's, uh, maybe it's an idea, maybe it's something to consider, I don't know, but well, let's just see how it goes. Now I am, of course, I do have huge amounts of Maiden Warriors and Jatu Raiders and things like that, so it's going to be a bit difficult to narrow things down. Obviously I have a TM Biscuit Savior here, he is providing us amazing amounts of power, so I don't really want to get rid of him, but I suppose I'll get rid of a Mist Mountain Shaman and just take seven of those, and that's the thing, I would love to be able to take some Empire Legionnaires as well, maybe I should do that? Are they better than the Ravenstone Guards though? I mean, that's the thing, I kind of wanted to only use Ravenstone units, obviously I have not become the, shall we say, savior of the claimant just yet, so maybe it's not even worth it. I mean, I don't see any Salian knights here, I don't see any other mounted units, I mean, we do have a couple of things like these, for example, the Salian Squire at Arms, but I don't really think that that's necessary, so I'm just going to head on from here. And we do have a, uh, we do have a pretty decent chess piece and a Bardiche, I actually like these Bardiches quite a bit. But there doesn't seem to be anything else here apart from a flame-bladed sword. I'm not going to be taking that. I'm actually going to just leave the Bardish in here because you never know. Someone might want to take it. Oh, no, they just um, got some shields for themselves. That's pretty nice. So I'm going to take the chess piece because we can sell that for a pretty penny. And now we're going to head on to the Red Brotherhood hideout. And we have arrived. As you can see here, the Red Brotherhood guildsmen don't appear to have spotted you yet. Let us attack it. Now, what I have also done is I have placed my hero adventurers at the very top of my party, so I'm hopeful that they will be the ones that will be, you know, placed in here. It seems like they are. And we also have Lethal Durin as well as Anson. I'm not entirely sure why Anson is in here, because I placed all 11 hero adventurers at the top of my party, so I was extremely very much hoping, very much hoping actually, that the hero adventurers would be the only units to be introduced into this particular encounter, but it seems like uh, maybe not. But, oh uh, well, doesn't really matter, because the hero adventurers can probably carry us to victory anyway. Obviously, I don't have a crossbow right now, so that's a bit of a shame, but yeah, I, I do bear in mind that once I have 
the claimant. And once we start doing siege defenses and things like that, I am going to be obliged to use a crossbow because it's just going to be, you know, basically a foregone conclusion. You're going to need to use one of those to be able to defend against the overwhelming forces that no doubt we are going to be dealing with. And, you know, it would be kind of nice to actually have a bit of a ranged attack anyway. But as it stands right now, we're mostly doing field battles and field battles that are in Pendor. Most people, most factions have cavalry so having a crossbow that is extremely slow firing is not really going to make a very big difference and it's actually going to be a bit shall we say not very good you know it's actually going to be a bit of a liability more than anything oh no this is not good is it okay come on I can do this yeah 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 yeah, yeah. okay come on now Oh no. Oh no. Yes, there we go. Come on now. Yeah, no. Oh, I'm being shot. I'm being shot by another one of them. Oh no, that's not good. That is not good at all, if I do say so myself. Okay, I'm actually going to move away from them. Oh no. Oh no. Come on, hero adventurers. Oh, I need you over here right now. Okay, let's go behind the tree. Thank you. Thank you, tree. Yes. Ah. Oh. Oh no, now I'm being shot from over there. Great. Okay, what are you doing? These guys are literally failing for me right now. I am sad. I'm very sad, actually, about that, because I was really very much hoping that these hero adventurers would not have a problem with dealing with the Red Brotherhood, but apparently they are. Alright, so I, all I'm going to do right now is I am literally just going to charge at the chest and I'm going to get the Qualys gem out immediately. Come on, let's go. Get it. Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, okay. We made it. Yay. <laughs> we actually made it. Who would have thought it? Okay, so is that actually... That is actually better than what I have, hilariously enough. All right. So, various loot and a Qualys gem. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Okay, so now I have a shield. So, technically, I could... I could attain victory. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see if I can do this. It's not looking it's not looking good, is it? I mean, I already have the Qualys gem, so in theory I should have it, right? I, I actually don't know. I actually don't know how that works. Cuz as far as I'm aware, I do have it now, but maybe there's a bit of a weird thing going on with it. I actually don't know, but we're going to find out, obviously. Okay, maybe I can actually just do this, though. If I can do this, if I can actually survive this, I'm going to be extremely surprised. My shield's going to die after I get hit a couple more times. There we go. Okay. And now... Oh, yeah, oh she's, she's wanting to attack me. Okay. Oh, if you want to do that, if you want to do that, then that's, that's perfectly fine with me. Yeah, that is perfectly fine with me. Let's do this. Yeah. Come on. A little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, there we go. All right, all right. Okay, so who do we have firing at me right now? Who do we have firing at me right now? I can't even see them. I don't even know where they are. Where are they? I'm going to hide behind this tree. Oh, yes, I think I know where they are. There's only one left. There is one, one enemy left. Okay, I have 12 kills. If I can pick up a shield, I think we might have an opportunity here. Oh. Give, give me that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, this is not a good shield. This is not a good shield. I have a bad feeling about this. This is epic, I have to say. It is quite epic because we are literally a sliver away from being eliminated. And I think the perpetrator in question is up here. There he is. Okay, let's hide behind this tree. Oh yes, hello, tree. Oh yes, you're my best friend right now. Oh yes, you are my best friend. Okay, so he's probably going to shoot. Yep, it's going to destroy that. There we go. And now we will absolutely murder him. Yes, murder. There we go. Murder. There we are. Oh yes, the murder was successful. Did you see that? The murder was completely successful. The thieves guarding the treasure were beaten. Find the treasure chest. I've already done that, actually. 
I've already done that, so I can't access the inventory right now, but there you go. I have done that, so it is fantastic. We have a Corliss gem, and we also have some various loot and some other things that we can actually... Ooh, a nice heavy crossbow. I think I'm going to be taking that. And I think I'll just take a couple of other things just to sell. And we'll take some oil as well. Oil is usually very good. And what's that? Ah, an anaconda spiked shield. That's actually pretty nice. If, it, if you have the uncracked version and you have one of the improved versions, you're going to be in a really, really good position there because the spiked anaconda shield is actually what I used to use in the previous version of Pendor. So anyway, there you go. That is it. Now, I believe... We have somewhere to be, and we're going to be going through Ethos and going to the Dashar territories. Now, please, please, Ravenstern, do not declare war against the Dashar. That would be an utter travesty, wouldn't it? That would be awful. Okay, so let's just sell some things here. Let's sell that Corliss gem. That's useless. Uh, yeah, I'm just kidding, of course. And here we go. Yeah, there we are. Nice. There we are. Yes. There we go. Give me all that money. Yes. Very wonderful. Okay, so that is it. That is great. I am extremely pleased that I was able to do that because, you know me, I'm not particularly good when it comes to high pressure situations and I'll usually, you know, perish at some later point in the in the action and it gets, you know, it's a bit sad, isn't it? It's a bit sad. So, yeah. Anyway, this is... Okay, so I'm going to need to swap out something here. I'm going to swap out the saddle horse, and there we go. So 4,600. Wow, we just gained a huge amount of money from that. And we can now go to the hidden mines of Alaziz, and that means, obviously, getting a rune weapon. And hello there, 5,800. There we go. That's also a very nice little bit of profit from our weekly wages there. The mercenary payment is at, oh, just utter insanity. It's really nice. I don't think... I, I would not be able to do this without... Uh, yeah, now I don't have any food. Ah, I can't believe I don't have any food, really. Yeah, but anyway, the point is, is that I would not be able to do this without the mercenary payments. And I don't think anyone could do what we're doing right now without the mercenary payments. Unless you just have, I don't know, insane amounts of enterprises, which we currently do. But even so, the weekly wages that we have right now are just so exorbitant that it's it's not even funny that they're, they're going to drain you dry literally and they're probably gonna go after your blood as well because you can't pay them but yeah it is pretty amazing oh knights of the ebony gauntlet wait a minute let's actually just take a look at them they have silver mist rangers for rescue but we can't obviously do that i don't think because they are knighthood order units so let's just let them go for now uh, yes, for now. Okay, so, yeah, we also want a bunch of food here. Thank you very much. And we'll now go... Oh, yes, Hidden Mines of Alaziz. Oh, there was Bar B Baril Barilgi. Yes, Barilgi the Usurper. Mm, yes, he was actually attempting to attack us, and I was like, who's that bandit party over there? No, it's not a bandit party. It's actually a unique spawn that would have absolutely destroyed us in many ways. Okay, so do I have enough space? Yeah, I have enough space for a rune weapon. I'm going to be getting, I believe, the one-handed axe. Because every other time that I have played Pendor, I've either gone for the rune bow, the ruby rune bow, or I have gone for the ruby rune sword. And I'm going to be going for the ruby rune axe. I personally like the ruby variant because it has piercing damage. And piercing damage, in my opinion, is... Is just really good, in my opinion. So, yeah, anyway. Hey, come on over here. Don't dawdle now. Pick up your feet. Yes, yes, yes. A secret I shall tell you. Uh, Hunter Quail. Yes, Qualis Gem. Uh, yeah, Qualis Gem and Wine. So, yeah, he's the guy that upgrades the rune weapons, as far as I remember. Yes, okay. Uh, let's, let's have a look. Yes, call me that person. Hamidaran. I'm waiting for a customer. I am waiting for a customer. There we go. I want that rune axe. Right? Yes. I want that rune axe. Oh yeah, strange rune axe. Fantastic. And we can just exit with tab. You couldn't do that before, actually. But there you go. There it is. So that is our current axe. When we get another Qualus gem, if we're able to defeat... I think Q to the Ravager would probably be the easiest one to defeat right now, because I think he has about 300 units, so it would be 
pretty advantageous for us to do that. But once we do that, we're going to upgrade that to a Ruby Runax. It's going to have 55 or 65 piercing damage or whatever it is. And we are going to be almost unstoppable then. And so we're going to be using that instead. It actually looks like a two-handed model, but it actually acts like a one-handed. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.